Okay, so after we learned how actually to create our uh, our cloud um, hacking silver, so right now I'll, I will teach you how to use all of our previous hacking tools in the cloud. Okay, so the first step right here is to create an account on the GitHub website. Of course, all of the hacking tools that we already actually been using was um, uploaded and hosted on the GitHub uh, platform. So right now, the first thing you have to do is to go and, uh, and search Google and type GitHub, sign up. Okay, and after, after you create an account and join GitHub, I want from all of you to do the following. So this is right now is uh, my official GitHub account. So for example, I'm going to this tool. This is actually one of the tools that we have uh, been using during our course, the Z Fisher tool. So let's see how I, uh, I will be able to use this tool actually on the, on the cloud. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do right here after after opening the official the official github page and for the record this uh, this github page actually it's uh, it's uh, it's listed on the uh, the text file in the resources section so after you open up the official page you will just click right here in the fork in the fork button so when i actually click on the fork i will take a copy a copy of this uh, of this tool at my own github account and after that, I will be able actually to edit um, edit uh, the source code of this of this file uh, of this tool, of course. And after that, I will navigate back to my cloud server and then install my tool after our customization. Okay, so this is the process behind all of this. So let's get back to my GitHub account again. And right here, it will ask me about uh, what is the repository name that I want uh, uh, for this tool. So I will. I will just add this this port I will just add this name custom to to, to actually inform anyone who visit my uh, my github page uh, this uh, this is a ver a customization version of uh, of the the Fisher tool okay not not the original one okay after that I will click on create fork as you can see right here I am having actually a copy of this of this tool right now at my at my account so i can actually edit the source code of this uh, of this tool as i want and that will not uh, will not actually um, affect uh, affect uh, any any of uh, of the of the original source code of this um, of this tool of course okay so right now i'll just open this file the zfisher.sh file and i will just actually take a copy of all of this source code by clicking on edit at this button okay so right now I want to do the following look it, all of all of this actually um, uh, hacking hacking tools was actually created to be used um, uh, for example inside our private uh, private network as I mentioned before because they actually provide three three types of the, the tunneling the first one was the local host the second one was cloud flared the second the third one was ng rock and as I told you we will not using actually the Cloudflare or the Angerock because Google right now and all of the antiviruses uh, will flag uh, any hyperlinks generated from all uh, these um, uh, both of these services. So of course we don't want our victim to get uh, any suspicious feeling because um, of any of any protection warning message. Okay, so instead actually we will depend on the first option, the local host. But uh, unfortunately, all of the developers of all of these tools was developed actually this option to be to be work in our only private network. Okay, so they actually added inside the source code the IP address to be like this, to be for example our local IP address following with the following with the port. Okay, so of course the support will be differentiated from a tool to another. But right now we, we actually don't want uh, all of this. We want actually this um, this tool to be work on our public cloud server. 
so of course we want anyone actually if anyone try try to uh, visit our um, uh, our, uh, our IP address to be able to see the content of our web, uh, web pages so instead we will actually do this we will edit this IP address to make the IP address like this so what's actually will happen after after doing this actually th this will make uh, will make our hacking tool to generate the web pages and these web pages actually will be accessible for anyone okay so if anyone actually just typed our public ip address right here in the browser will be able to view and uh, and uh, and explore our faking hacking web pages okay so this is the edit actually you have to do in all of the source code of uh, of all of the hacking tools that we discussed before during our training course okay and i know that actually um, if you if you search it google you will not find any any article or any uh, or anyone actually displaying this information so you you will only actually have have uh, to use these services the cloud flirt and the angel rock and uh, you will see actually google will will suspend any hyperlink actually generated by this by these tools and of course that is not uh, a realistic hacking scenario so let's do this right now so i will just search for this IP address and as you can see this is actually the part that I want to to edit okay so instead of this I will make it 0.0.0, .0. okay and for the port I will I want it actually to be the default HTTP at HTTP port that uh, been using by all of the browsers in the world so I want it to be 80 just 80 okay not uh, not uh, 80 80 or or just um, or not uh, you know uh, for for it not uh, not all of this all of this actually will not work because some of the tools actually will be for example something like this because all of the developers actually developed these tools to be tested locally on our private network okay so we'll make it 80 like this and that's it I will actually came right here And scroll down you will see right here submit changes so I will submit all of these changes okay and that's it so right now we having actually our tool and our tool actually has been uh, modified and uh, we have our custom tool so right now we have our custom version of the of the Z Fisher tool if you scroll down right here and and then we get it back you will see that I have my my own custom version of the Z Fisher tool. So let's actually uh, try to install this tool, this our our new tool right now on our uh, cloud server. So I will navigate back to my cloud server right here and uh, click on access and launch the console of, of our of our cloud server. Okay, so right now our cloud server has been started as you can see this is uh, the default uh, interface uh, the default uh, console console interface of course so I will just clear up the terminal by typing clear and right now I will list right here and see what is the location right now I am in the root directory so I will just go back okay and go inside the home directory go inside the downloads folder actually I am the one who, who created this folder okay so right now I will do the following every everything is ready so I will just get back to my github right here okay and click on code so you have to focus and remember carefully all of these steps because you will perform actually all of these steps and all of the the hacking tools that we have uh, been using and also in the future if you are going to use any any another hacking tool you have to do the same steps okay so if you want to, to edit anything just to take a copy of um, of the github tool at your account and uh, do all of the changes to the source code as you want and after that download your your custom hacking tool on your cloud cloud hacking server right here okay so i will just take copy this uh, this hyperlink 
and to open my cloud server and to do the following I will just type git clone following with uh, github hyperlink okay so I have downloaded actually the tool right here let's type list and as you can see right now we have downloaded actually the, the Z Fisher custom tool this is actually our own custom tool so let's go inside okay so as you can see we have we have our tool right here so let's let's start our tool by just typing sudo bash zfisher.sh as you can see right now the tool will start actually installing all of the required packages and that's it the tool is ready right now so let's give it a try by just typing and selecting any 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 template from right here so let's uh, for example try the netflix one template number five and uh, at this point we will not actually use any of these uh, provided services because as i told you all of these services actually has been suspended and has been flagged by google so by default actually so if if any actually secure the browser uh, that our victim uh, will be using so it will it will display actually a suspended warning message so of course we don't want any any uh, something like this to be appeared and displayed in front of our victim so instead we will use actually the local host one the first the first option right here so it will ask us uh, if we want any any custom port i will just go with no okay so as you can see right now this is the new the new ip address that uh, right now our phishing web page is is running on but uh, actually in the in the post this ip address was um, 127.0.0.1 1 and the port was actually 8080 but as you can see right now we changed this but actually unfortunately right now there is still one problem so if i navigate it right here and take the IP address of our cloud server like this as you can see we will not actually see our our phishing web page but instead we, we 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 see right now the default Apache web server page and I will tell you why because at first actually we have to disable the the, uh, the service behind the Apache web server so we have to turn off the Apache web server after that we will run actually this um, our phishing tool again and as this time it will be working so because already the Apache 2 web server is using this port the default port the, the 80 port so we will not actually be able to to display our uh, web page right here so what we have to do right now we actually have to return to our cloud server right here and stop everything okay so after we stop everything by just clicking on control control c as you can see right here we will actually type sodo service apache 2 stop and you can actually use this command in all of the linux distributions to to, uh, to stop and display and uh, disable any service not only the apache the apache 2 web server of course so after click enter as you can see the command has been executed successfully so let's back again and run our our phishing tool select the same template netflix template select localhost okay as you can see right here everything is working successfully so let's get back right here and open a new window and just type in the browser our public IP address as you can see our phishing attack has been uh, successfully done and uh, and if you actually send this hyperlink right now to anyone in the world uh, he will be he will be able to access this hyperlink but of course uh, in our next videos i will i will teach you how to replace this ip address with a domain so for example we can do something like this okay we can something do something like this for example so of course if you send it to the user something like this it will not be suspicious at all and you will see actually how to, to perform something like this